quick hands moving it for the Dockers and that will be a goal for Ebony Antonio. As a little girl I always wanted to play footy and um, that dream got taken away from me at a I think under 13s I got told I could no longer play and those dreams then become dead and you know it wasn't until three years ago they've become a reality in the life that you know I can be an AFLW player. Still opportunity, might be Antonio this time, but they've made it two in a row! Yeah it's a bit of a whirlwind how fast tracked it's become and at the same time the game's just got so much interest around Australia that the game's just growing and it's just, just amazing to see. The little girls that come up to you in the street and they want your autograph not the only little girls, but you get little boys wanting to come up and they're involved in it as well, and that's amazing to see that. And Antonio, she kicks the first goal. Every year, the talent pool is definitely improving, and that's credit to the pathways that have now been created through the AFL. The game's getting faster. I'm assuming that this year there's going to be more scoring involvement. It's just purely because of the education that we've had and what we're putting into training to make you no know, scoring a lot better in terms of where the game is wanting to go. Goring was there, but at the back, strong mark from Antonio. When I first got signed with Fremantle, they were asking what I was kind of looking for and at that time and I had said that they have all these different career pathways and electrical was on there and an apprenticeship was always something I wanted to do. So um, yeah, I grabbed that with both hands and absolutely loving it. We don't get paid enough to be full-time athletes and I think that's where the education gets lost with the, the wider public. And you know, their understanding is that we're AFLW players and we're just like the men. We get paid to play and we don't work, but little do you know, we do work 40 hours a week and it's mentally challenging for like myself. I work in a hard labour job where I'm an electrical apprentice and um, the demands of my body through the day can be quite challenging. And it's pretty tight, but it's home. Ten years from now, no doubt that you know there's going to be professional athletes running around as AFLW players and the um, product out on the field is going to be amazing to see.